Thank you so much for having me. My name is Mina Rana, and I am an Associate Professor of Medicine in Infectious Disease at Mount Sinai and the Director of Transplant Infectious Disease. So on August 13th, 2021, the CDC and the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices took a really important action to prevent COVID-19 infection in our immunocompromised and transplant recipients. They now recommend that people who are moderately to severely immunocompromised receive an additional dose of an mRNA COVID-19 vaccine, either Pfizer or Moderna, at least 28 days after the completion of the initial series. And the FDA now allows for this additional dose as well. So to be clear, this is not considered a booster dose. A booster dose is given to a patient whose immunity to the vaccine may have waned over time. This is actually considered an additional dose that's being given to immunocompromised patients to improve their initial response to the vaccine series. So essentially a three dose mRNA vaccine series instead of a two dose series. So immunocompromised patients make up almost 3% of the population, and they are a very large and heterogeneous group. So for the purposes of an additional COVID-19 vaccine, the CDC has defined a specific moderately to severely immunocompromised group that should receive this. So this group includes patients who have cancer or hematologic malignancy and are receiving chemotherapy, Patients who've had a solid organ transplant, such as a heart transplant, a lung transplant, a liver or a kidney transplant, and currently take immunosuppressive medications. Patients who've had a bone marrow transplant within two years, or patients who've had a bone marrow transplant and are currently taking immunosuppressive therapy, or patients who've received CAR T-cell therapy. Patients who have advanced or untreated HIV, Patients who have another medical condition and may be taking high dose steroids or immunosuppressive therapy for that medical condition. If you think you're a patient who falls within this category, it's really important that you speak to your physician to determine if you are eligible for an additional dose of mRNA COVID-19 vaccine. So we know that patients who are considered moderately to severely immunocompromised are more vulnerable to COVID-19 they are more likely to have severe disease and more likely to be hospitalized with COVID-19. In addition, there has been data suggesting that moderately to severely immunocompromised patients may not have as strong of an immune response to the initial COVID-19 vaccine series. And we have seen breakthrough infections in vaccinated immunocompromised patients, occasionally requiring hospitalization. In addition, the CDC now has data suggesting that a third vaccine would also be safe. So in addition to augmenting the immune response in transplant and immunocompromised patients with a third dose, plus knowing that this additional vaccine dose is considered safe, the CDC has made this recommendation. So it's really important that if you think you are in this category of one of the moderately to severely immunocompromised patients, you talk to your doctor to see if you are eligible for COVID-19 vaccination. What the CDC currently recommends is that if you received an initial Pfizer series, then you receive a third dose 28 days after completing that Pfizer series with the same mRNA vaccine, as long as it's available. If you received an initial Moderna vaccine series, then you should complete your series with an additional third dose of Moderna. So when the CDC made this recommendation, they did not have enough data on whether or not immunocompromised patients who received the J&J &J vaccine would have an improved response after receiving an additional dose of the same vaccine. So for this reason, we are currently awaiting more guidance from the CDC on what to do and what to recommend for patients who are immunocompromised who receive the J&J &J vaccine. So this is a really important question. 
If you are considered in this moderately to severely immunocompromised category, you should go out today and talk to your doctor to see if you're eligible for receiving an additional dose of mRNA vaccine. In addition, it's really important that you still continue to practice all those protective precautions that we've been discussing. So social distancing, hand hygiene, and masking. In addition, because immunocompromised patients are considered especially vulnerable to COVID-19, it's very important that all your loved ones around you, so your family and your friends, that they are all vaccinated to COVID-19 so that you and as, as an immunocompromised patient are protected. Lastly, the FDA has also allowed an emergency use authorization for us to administer a medication called monoclonal antibody for what is termed as post-exposure prophylaxis. So if you are exposed to a loved one or a family member with COVID-19, please call your physician and let us know to see if you would be considered eligible for this medication to prevent progression to COVID-19 infection. So as of right now, we aren't recommending that you go out and get an antibody test because we know, we don't know what level of antibody is considered protective. We therefore recommend that if you fall within this category of moderately to severely immunocompromised, you should receive an additional vaccine dose regardless of antibody response. So the most important thing to know is that we as your transplant doctors are here to help you. The additional vaccine dose and a medication that we can now give as post-exposure prophylaxis are two really important tools to help prevent COVID-19. In addition, if you somehow still develop symptoms of COVID-19, please call us and let us know so we can get you tested. Immunocompromised patients who develop COVID-19 with mild symptoms are eligible to receive early treatment with monoclonal antibody, which help prevents progression to severe disease or hospitalization with COVID-19.